The problems that we have are nowhere near insurmountable. These are problems that we can solve. It just so happens that the problems have now come to the doorstep of the church. The church can move into places that are absolutely devastated and ruined and actually turn them into the Garden of Eden. We are taking back the marketplace. We are here to bring economic revival to Detroit. If anything is going to change, it's going to change by us changing our mind. Everything occurs to you twice in life, first the inner, then the outer, first the thought, then the thing. And not only is Bill Winston changing minds, but he's changing hearts. We're thankful to God that God has given us this opportunity to change lives, to change families, to change generations. People are going to receive jobs, people are going to receive opportunities, resources that they never thought possible and their lives are going to be changed forevermore. And they're going to understand that they too are empowered by the blessing. No matter how big, no matter how radical your dreams are, they're absolutely possible. Here's why poor people are poor. We never got the memo. Being poor is a disabling frame of mind and a depressed condition of your spirit, and you must vow never, ever, ever to be poor again. Lives are being changed even as we speak. Families, marriages, businesses, individuals, young people are being inspired. Well, it's huge. I mean, this is exactly what uh, you know, Detroit needs. It's a huge impact for the city of Detroit. It allows people to come out here and provide for their children. I'm telling you, the blessing is on you. Come back to trusting in God with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding and all your ways. Come on, acknowledge Him and He'll direct your path. You will get to your wealthy place. The blessing of the Lord it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow to it. You're the answer for the world's problems. My heart is just leaping for joy because change is coming.